Hi everyone, welcome back to another studio vlog. Today I'm going to make a weekly planner and possibly a to-do list um, pad. Before we get right into it, I want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons who support me to be able to do this kind of work. If you want to access bonus materials, including a educational motivation a uh, podcast on creativity called Going Places. I post that uh, exclusively on my Patreon and you can access that from just one pound a month. Also, if you're interested in doing a group productivity Zoom call, I am hosting them every Monday and Wednesday and possibly a few evenings um in october so if you want to know about that you can sign up to my mailing list and you'll get direct links um on the days to be part of those and we've had some great episodes over on the podcast that i co-host with my bestie venus libido it's called the tlc podcast we've had naomi williams we've had lila Rusa, um and yeah i've been obsessed with these um people so i'm super happy to be able to have them on a little podcast and the links for that will be in the description of the video i can't think if there's anything else so let's just get into a little time lapse of me drawing seen yesterday I had a creative block so I was like I just need to do something fun for me and this is something I've been thinking of doing for ages I have been for quite a long time show having my weeks um let's see, like with these squiggly lines underneath the days and took out my old I had like this big folder in my uh, closet which has all my sketchbooks and like all my notebooks and I found this let me get it up and, and explain why I'm not loving it yet um I think it could be more fun it's a bit bland which I think would work but I'm just it's just not it's just not there yet you know you know what I mean and then I'm not sure about these rounded corners I really like the the straight lines and simplicity of things that have type um and the kind of way that obviously when you write on it not much is distracting from your actual to-do list whereas with my handwriting I feel like I just want it to be clearly a heading rather than it looking like it's part of the to-do list if that makes sense like obviously when you write on here it's it's really different and it's really the titles are really um separate you know so i'm kind of that thinking of that i'm also not really liking these kind of like rounded squares i think i might try and play around and see what i think with just kind of lines then i really want it to have some type of um way that when you do write on it you have a, a little bit of either a line 
but I'm thinking maybe dots or even a graph, you know, like graph paper. I really love working on graph paper and making my to-do lists on that. So, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm going to work on that this now. Um, and also, I, yeah, I do want there to be some kind of either border or pattern, but who knows, maybe I'll try and I won't like it. Um, and then I do want to print it to see what I think basically um every time I design something that's kind of for me it's like the longest process <laughs> because I just go flip flop between like oh I'm not sure if I like it and then I try something else designing stuff for yourself is like for me the hardest thing um because if you're trying to hit a brief there are specific things that you have to either whether it's a target audience or you know the brand colors the brand direction the art direction um so i find designing stuff for my shop like the hardest that's what i tend to use like personal projects um and print things that is on my instagram because designing stuff specifically for my shop is honestly like the hardest i find it the hard because it's an open brief um it's cute but i just feel like it could be cooler you know like it's cute and it, um, I just feel like I could make it a bit cooler, but I don't know how. Bear with me. Um, because my other monitor was tiny and it wasn't, uh, retina. So, so nice to be able to see colours. Anyway, I'm going to get on with this. Um, I've had a bit of, um, a bit of a weird couple of weeks and I haven't really felt like being on camera, um, so sorry about that, but it is what it is. Um, I don't want to get into it right now. I'm sure that when I know more, I will talk about it. Um, but for now, I think I'm just going to rely heavily on time lapses on me drawing, and I hope that that's okay. And then when I feel a bit more set, like happy to talk to camera, um, hopefully that'll be soon. So yeah. Um, Bear with me, <laughs> but yeah, I feel like that's so vague, um, but I just think that it kind of, no, I'm not going to talk about it. I don't feel I like I want to talk about it. So anyway, let's draw. We're holding each other, yet need us apart, you sleep in the back room. I speak in the dark You say it's ordinary If it was not to be one But our love isn't that ordinary Our love isn't that ordinary You're strong when I feel weak You surface swim when I dive to Every blue in my pool of red I color circle us And you live for the rush And I live in my head And I can't get close I can't get close Hey, I had dinner I cooked a delicious pie And then I was on BBC Radio um i'll include some clips we talked about it was me and my podcast co-host venus libido and we talked about the podcast and loneliness and why we made it and everything else so i'm going to insert those clips now and amongst other things mental health and loneliness too i'm joined by one of uh, two presenters of a uh, new podcast or a podcast which deals with uh, mental health and uh, loneliness we have uh, in fact both of them are going to be uh, joining us which i'm very pleased to hear about we've got uh, venus on uh, one line venus libido good uh, evening to you hi you're right yeah fine great name venus should i call you venus <laughs> or miss libido uh, Venus is fine, Venus. thank okay. you. <laughs> and uh, Natalie, you're the uh, the other half of this podcast. Welcome to you as well. Hiya. 
great to have you both with us. And uh, yeah, we, we're going to look at your podcast. It's called the TLC Podcast. Uh, so, uh, Venus, perhaps you can start by telling me how it came about. Yeah, so the TLC Podcast stands for the Loneliness Collaboration Podcast. And basically, me and Natalie were just sending hundreds and hundreds of voice notes to each other on WhatsApp about feeling lonely and just talking about our problems and we just thought you know we should make this into a podcast because you know I'm sure we're not the only ones who feel lonely right now and we just went for it yeah we made a podcast together so TLC very cleverly the loneliness club um Natalie a great uh, title um what what sort of things do you discuss then oh we talk about anything that um we really are passionate about, especially things that we feel like not many people talk about and um, things that get us down. And we're quite action-based people, so we like to try and figure out ways on how we can move forward and work through how we're feeling. Venus, I don't know how long you've been running, but, I mean, loneliness is something, what with lockdown and, and isolating and all of that for the past few months, so this is very timely, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, lonely, being lonely is just a massive problem that we face as, you know, humanity. And we just know it's an issue that we will always face. And especially with the pandemic, everyone was feeling very lonely and isolated. So it kind of fits quite well with our podcast. And like Natalie was saying, everything we talk about, we try to find solutions to the problem as well. So we're not just talking about the issue, but also trying to help people at the end of it, come out the other side of whatever it may be. Mm. And, and Natalie, it's it's quite, you know, a, again, we've been looking at a, a podcast about sex and relationships a few minutes ago. I mean, nothing's off limits, is it, with you guys? Absolutely not. Um, and I think the things that, like, like I said, often the things that people shy away from talking about are the things that we really need to talk about and shape up, like, do better in our society because a lot of the things that um, cover also loneliness, you have shame, even just saying, I feel feel lonely, um, which is why a lot of people don't open up about it in the first place. So it's it's funny, isn't it, Venus? That, that some some of the things that are, are very hard to talk about, they're, they're the very things that when we do talk about them, they can they can make a world of difference. Do you, what sort of reaction do you get from people that listen to your podcasts? Uh, we have a lot of people just say like they feel less alone, which is great. Um, and like Natalie was saying, we do talk about a lot of things that people kind of shy away from so things like alcohol addiction um suicide bullying um the dark side to reality tv and just so many different things we have so many amazing guests that come on that i feel like our audience especially can really relate to because it's just people who are really genuine and very open to discuss the things that some may feel very isolated to talk about and the fact that there's two of you, Natalie, you know, being able to sort of bounce ideas off and, and, and sort of chat amongst yourselves, really. I mean, that's that's quite important, isn't it, for, for people that are listening to hear that the two of you discuss issues and, and items must be, you know, it must make it easier for, for, for you both. Yeah, absolutely. And it's funny because we both have very uh, jobs that very much rely on social media and when we met each other and we realised that we had a lot of similarities, it really, I guess, took us both by surprise because, you know, connecting those dots between our, a human being and what they, people perceive them to be online can often be different even though we're not trying to. So I think it's lovely to be honest about how we're really feeling um, and share that with people. How did you meet Venus? Um, yeah, we met on social media, actually. Um, a couple of years ago, we just started talking to each other and then we eventually met up in real life and our friendship just kind of blossomed from there, really. But thanks to social media, that's that's how we met. Quite a step, though, Natalie, you know, from, from meeting, chatting, and then to suddenly creating a podcast together. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think, I think it's funny because we've been at, 
the spaces that we're we're often in, we usually we got invited to a couple of events together, so we were kind of um, walking past each other a few times, and then eventually swapped numbers and just started chatting. And there was one particular day where I could just sense that Venus was a bit um, quiet when we were chatting, and I just called her up out of the blue, and I was like, "What's going on? Just talk to me." And and so I think right early on we had this. Um, like walls down openness in our friendship um, and then we kind of just brought that to the podcast mm. well that's that's great and um, I, I guess you've met quite a lot of people through the podcast uh, Venus so you, you sort of added to your circle of friends through doing the podcast yeah definitely I mean there's people who have been my friends who I've invited that Natalie's not known and then vice versa so we've definitely built a beautiful community of people who have been willing to share their stories with us um but yeah we've had such an amazing variety of people come on and it's just been really beautiful to build that and to share that together as well are you surprised from the reactions that you get natalie i mean what what uh, what has surprised you most perhaps from your listeners um, probably that people listen, like we just love chatting and, and we love learning about each other and also just kind of venting and ranting and, and using the podcast as an excuse to chat to our friends. Um, so when people listen and they say that they it helps them or they listen to while they're working from home during Corona, um, yeah, it's, it's lovely to, cause you forget when you're passionate about something that like you're putting it out there for people to also listen to. We just love it so much and we have so much fun doing it. Um, I guess I, I sometimes forget that, that it's going out into a public domain sometimes. <laughs> well, as they, they say in radio as well, if you're enjoying it, then people listening will hopefully enjoy it. And, and I'm sure if you're getting something out of it, then many of your listeners will too. How can people find your, your podcast? If they are a little lonely, if they are a bit down, if they're needing a bit of a, a, a friendly voice in their ear, maybe on the way to work or at home after work, what, uh, what's the best way of finding you? Um, so if people want to find us, they can find us on Instagram at the TLC podcast or we are, all of our podcast episodes are on Apple podcasts and that's on the TLC podcast. The TLC podcast. Great yeah. to meet you both tonight. Thank you for uh, for coming and chatting to us and uh, I hope it continues to go from strength to strength. Thank you, Thank you so much. That's Thanks for Venus, us. no problem. Venus Libido and uh, Natalie joining us uh, to talk about their uh, podcast, the TLC, the Loneliness Club podcast. We've got more to come. So, I need to finish this notebook and it's 8.52. I've got Dash Strength. They sent me these. These are delicious. This is with basically a sparkling drink, but they make it with wonky fruit. Definitely check these out if you see them. Not sponsored. They're just delicious. This is the raspberries one. I put a little bit of gin in this um, because I was on the radio and I thought that was a good opportunity to celebrate. Um, so, yeah, in the meantime, I'm going to make finish these. I think it's pretty much done. I just need to finish the top bit. And I think the, the like daily to do, like I just want to do a small just to do list will be really easy now because I've gotten kind of the layout of this. So... Uh, let's go to a time lapse. <laughs> I've done it. I'm not going to order it now. It's 10 o'clock. 
I don't know why this is taking me so long. I think it's just because um it's just been an emotional week and I'm finding it really hard to create um so yeah I think we got there I am really really happy with it um I kept it simple I could add more stuff I guess I had this idea of adding clouds but actually really like how it is so I'm going to print it in the morning to see how the colours print to make sure that pink um to that people will write on isn't too dark because that's my concern um it's so, so important to do test prints before you're sending things off because the screen isn't going to show you the same colour that it's printed um so yeah I'm gonna go to bed and regroup uh, tomorrow hey everyone i don't know when the last time i spoke to camera was but um it's been a while i have a new haircut which is really greasy so i would just put it up but i've got a little bit of a fringe and i'm not sure about it you know it's um it's a lot to maintain when you're doing nothing like having to style it to figure like figure out what to do with it is like just a lot of effort when you're barely leaving the house <laughs> um i have a cup of green tea here with me and i just sent off the notebooks to be printed but i've been going through the colors so the decisions were the hard decisions were to know whether to have just plain or dotted or lines and I couldn't, I mean, when you're printing, I, I, I'm sorry if I'm patronising you, <laughs> but I always struggle to get the colours that I want on the screen, on paper, on print, because it's, it's, it works differently. So I've been printing them to see what I thought of the colours. So this was my first one. I That's when I was like, no, I want some lines underneath. So I did them with my own hand. And I was starting to like practice like okay how much space is there to write your to-do list um, and then I did it with the dots here I don't know if you can see but they're really faint and then I was like no I want lines I did do lines maybe I'll insert it now but I didn't like the lines um, it was kind of I really liked the simplicity of the open space um, and so I tried the lines, didn't like the lines, went back to the dots and then the trick was getting the dots a bit darker so you could actually see them. Here I was still like, they're still really, really small. I want them bigger. So I did print an A4 one, but I don't know where it is. So then when I got the dots to the right size on the A4 print, then I was just experimenting with the colour options. I really wanted a really nice orange and pink for it to look kind of really retro. I think the final result won't be what I originally had in mind and originally, originally, originally wanted, but I think I've got to the closest that I can um, just because everything on screen just looks different. So here is like some slight changes. I don't know if you can tell. Then I was like, Looking at it more, I was like, this pink is really dark. I want it to be a bit more brighter. Um, and so I was like playing around with the back, playing around the, with the borders, colors. Obviously this is not going to be, there's not gonna be any white border. This is just my printer. So then I was um, trying to print two per page because I was just seeing the colors. Um, trying to put two per page to save on paper then printed it a4 to check that the dots were all in the right place and the final one is this one so this is how it's gonna look hopefully it's like more of a creamier pink i mean you go up close on its own but put it next to the other colors and it looks yellowy um but it is a pink and i think it's really cute and then i have just done with the same colour scheme, I nearly put myself in the eye with that, 
with the same color scheme with the same dots i've done a day list so this is the week one and then i've done a day list i feel like maybe it's a bit too risky where i didn't print it um so it's basically the same theme and i've ordered a hundred of them so yeah that's what i've been up to um yeah <laughs> that's it really i don't know what else i can talk about hey everyone the notebooks arrived um yesterday i have over already opened one but um it's sunday morning and i want to open the rest on camera i need to count them make sure that they're all good um but there's no like printing errors or anything um because i have already found a few uh, but my printers are great they usually fix things super quickly and you know i think it's just it's uh all part of the process just you know it's um yeah just part of the process to make sure that everything is a-okay so yeah i'm gonna open them on camera i'm so excited to share them with you because i had a little sneak peek um but first I need to eat something. I need to take some paracetamol because I've got some cramps. Um, I'm on my period. Um, I want to have coffee because I'm exhausted. I stayed up to like three in the morning just like on my phone. Like the, I hate it when I do it to myself. Um, I haven't done that in ages, but I was literally just scrolling and just looking at TikToks basically. Um, so I did buy some blue light glasses because I just I got into bed so early i got into bed at like 11 and just couldn't sleep so i just woke up and sat on my phone which is the most smartest decision i've ever made in my life <laughs> so i bought some glasses which should be coming today so i'm so excited because i've been having difficulty sleeping lately and someone said that if you because i have been working late not cool um so yeah i need to pee as well so let's do those things and then I'll show you my little things and I'm so excited. Yeah, really excited. So excited. Okay, I need to pee. arrived got them in pink oh oh they're very like I mean they're the cheapest ones I could find but they're very reflectory on here I can see but I like the color kind of makes me want to get my actual lenses in pink all of these and i've checked all the pages that they're fine and good um these are a hundred and then there's some extra ones here i think some of them are this one's super chunky as you can see 
well I'm not sure if you can see it, but compared to the other one, a big boy, you know, it's, it's not even showing up on camera right, but that this one's like huge compared to the, compared to them all, so, um, that's nice, and in these ones there was a few, like, mistakes, so that I pulled it out, but it's perfect because, um, just like on a few of, there was like one that was just messed up, um, but actually it wasn't the whole thing, it was just a few, so I've got some extra to send out, um, I think I'm going to send them out to some friends who have been helping me lately, um, so that was really exciting, and now to count the rest, the, um, weekly planners are, um, next so i'm hoping they'll be as positive although this is the one i pulled out and i've already made and ruined it so i'm hoping they'll be as positive as the others that they'll have no mistakes so what i'm looking out for is there was a few sheets that were like this where it hadn't been like aligned um well it didn't you know you can see that it just like shifted to the right a bit so that's what i'm looking for and that took me how long did that take me? Well, I've been listening to um, Hi, I'm Live, and I've listened to it twice while doing that, so it took me an hour. So this is gonna take me <laughs> a long time, but it's worth it because I hate uh, packing an order up and then realizing that one is like, like unusable. So top tip, if you are, have if you do have a shop, make sure you check every single one of them. Um, because your printer will most likely um, be able to redo them for you or well, mine are lovely and I always do that also if you're interested to know where I get my stuff printed I will leave a link in the description where you can get if you use my name you get 10% off I think you have to spend 50 pounds there and then I also get 10% off I'm not being paid I'm not being paid to you to say that it was just a really nice thing that they do when you are a customer of them. You can get 10% off for a friend. So you can use my code. Um, I'm gonna stop procrastinating and I'm going to count the next batch. So I have made the mistake to sit down and just lie on my phone for the last 20 minutes. So I think what I'm gonna do, because it's still really light outside and lovely, I am going to go for a run. So I do need to go for a run today. Um, and I think that will break up my day a bit because I have just been like counting this thing for an hour. So I know I've got a lot of counting left to do because these A4 ones, are, it's going to take longer to check them all. So I'm going to go for a run, have a coffee, go for a run and get on with the rest when I come back. is much later now i still have my hair mask in my hair so i have <laughs> loved the fact the the way these have been printed with, with the way the manu new stationery set has been printed and now i've gotten the bug i'm like i want to get something else printed and so it's like a triple trifecta thing so i might get just like an a6 pad that's for like letter writing um that is really cute that i had my eye on before but i didn't i was only meant to get one of these printed um and then see how i thought of it but i love them so much and i couldn't wait so i got two and now i'm like should i get the other one i think i will because why not you know chris is coming up i'm trying to like get as much products sorted and i really like the idea of like it being a three something about the number three you know like three a three set um i'll sell them, sell them individually but i'll also sell them as pairs but also as a trifecta so i don't know why my light changed that's my grow light so i'm sorry if it's like not the best um but yeah i'm exhausted my run really like took it out of me hi everyone i just realized i didn't end this vlog i'm editing it now um the stationery set is dripping this saturday which is saturday the 17th 
I've got an A one A five writing pad, one to do list pad, one A four weekly spread pad, and a sticker sheet that will all be matching. It will all be with the beautiful colour scheme. Um it's dropping this Saturday. If you want to see some of the teasers, they will be up on my Instagram. You can also get notified when it drops if you click the countdown thing that's going to be through on my stories this week. So excited. Um, I feel like this is an excellent example of like, if you want to do something in terms of a specific project or a specific product, just go and make it yourself. I spent years waiting for someone in my inbox to ask me to create a stationary set. And that never happened, so I decided to do it for myself, um, which is great. And I'm really happy. I'm so happy with how they've come out. I think the quality is wonderful. Um, yeah, I'm super happy with them. So <sighs> please share. Um, there will also probably be some type of giveaway to celebrate because I'm just so excited. Um, and I feel like a marshmallow in this actually um so yeah um i think that's it from me the music in this episode in this episode what my tv show <laughs> the music in this studio vlog is from my friend becky wicks i'm gonna leave all of her links in the description please 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 go check it out she's wonderful and these songs are incredible um i want to say a huge thank you again to my patrons who allow me to do this kind of stuff and yeah, I'll see you next Monday. Bye.